After a month-long journey, the American nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, the USS Carl Vinson, docked at Korea's southern port city of Busan on Tuesday. The U.S. aircraft carrier Carl Vinson left its home port San Diego at the end of November last year to participate joint military exercises with Japan, which were recently completed. The Carl Vinson's arrival comes not long after Korea-U.S. joint naval exercises in November involving another U.S. aircraft carrier, the USS George Washington, as tensions remain high on the Korean peninsula following North Korea's shelling of Yonpyeong Island. Our arrival here is part of our routine operations and again it symbols, I think it symbolizes that commitment that we have to our ROC allies and to the entire region of the stability that our partnership can bring. The supercarrier, which can carry up to 90 aircraft, including fighter jets and anti-submarine helicopters, just completed military drills with Japanese forces in the East China Sea. We have already had some exercises with our ROC partners, and uh, we will continue to exercise with our ROC partners upon our departure from uh, Busan and Jinhei. While in Busan, the Vincent crew will participate in community service projects and other activities with the Korean Navy. Among the crew members are a number of Korean-American sailors who, for some, are returning home for the first time in many years. You know, as a Korean-American, you know, to come here with the uh, American Navy, the U.S. Navy, and see uh, my culture and my heritage, you know, it's, it makes me very proud that I can work with them, that I still know my language, and um, bring the U.S. and the Korean people together. The American Navy maintains a presence in the Asia-Pacific region, utilizing deployed naval forces in Japan and Guam, and rotationally deployed forces from Hawaii and other U.S. states. Kim Nari, Arirang News, Busan.